Hello everybody, it's my pleasure to discuss today with uh, Francois Clément Bidar uh, the result of Tropium Bresto 1 study that I have just uh, presented at the DSMO Virtual Plenary. Tropium Bresto 1 is a large phase 3 uh, randomized study that uh, was that included patients with HR positive or negative uh, metastatic breast cancer that uh, had received uh, endocrine therapy, target therapy, but uh, also one or two line of pre prior chemotherapy for advanced breast cancer. And patients were randomized to receive DATODXT or investigator choice of chemotherapy. And um, this study had the dual primary endpoint, that means two independent primary endpoints, progression free survival by blinding the independent central review and overall survival. But before I mm, will uh, go to the final analysis results, I would like to hear from uh, Francois Clement. Uh, what is the what are the characteristics of data DXD and what are the prior results that we already knew about uh, uh, about uh, tropium resto one? Thank you very much, uh, Barbara. So uh, first, so data DXD not that is not that new because we already heard about it before. But here, just to remind that it's an ADC, so an antibody drug conjugate. It is made of three key elements. So there is an antibody, so it's an IgG one that is directed against trop two. And that is linked to uh, linker. And the linker is very important because it's a cleavable linker. So it's, it means it does not release the payload in the plasma, but will release the payload in the tumor cell. And then lastly, so we have a payload, so which is an exatecon derivative, so a topo one inhibitor. But in breast now, we have this first uh, registrational trial. So this first phase three trial, so tropion breast O1. And that had already reported PFS and also the adverse event. So both were already known tonight before your presentation. So just to recap on these, first, we have like, um, I would say two advantages. One is in terms of uh, efficacy and the other is in terms of safety. So in terms of efficacy first, so uh, the trial demonstrated uh, that patient treated with DATO DXD had a significantly longer PFS. And in terms of hazard ratio, the hazard ratio in favor of DATO DXD was uh, 0.63, so which was significant. Efficacy was apparently conserved across all subgroups. Second advantage, so beyond the efficacy, is in terms of toxicity, because um, I think it's one of the first trials to show that in the experimental arm, we have less grade three adverse event compared to standard of care uh, chemotherapy. So there were fewer grade three adverse events with DATO DXD compared to our standard of care chemo. Now, with this data in mind, so uh, Barbara, could you let, just explain us what you present uh, today? What are the results in terms of overall survival in this trial? Yes, I presented the, the final uh, analysis that was focused on uh, overall survival. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the overall survival results uh, are not statistically significant. Indeed, because uh, with a median follow-up of uh, uh, about 22 months, uh, the median overall survival with data XD is 18.6 months, and the median overall survival with uh, the investigator choice of chemotherapy is uh, 18.3 months. Uh, how can uh, we explain these results? Uh, for sure, we can discuss for a very long time. Uh, one of the possible explanations is uh, uh, the so-called unplanned crossover. That means that uh, patients in the investigator choice of chemotherapy had uh, uh, a higher access uh, to uh, antibody drug conjugates as a subsequent therapy after uh, the study treatment termination. Uh, however, if you look at the secondary endpoints, uh, such as objective response rate, but also progression-free survival by local investigator, and also the time to the subsequent therapy, uh, that they are all in favor of data DXT over standard chemotherapy. So I think that uh, with these results, uh, uh, we have good reason today to say, okay, we have another ADC, another potential option uh, in the treatment of uh, our patients. What is happening in terms of uh, regulatory authorities, uh, Francis Clement? Well, so uh, as of today, so uh, data DXD has been approved in Japan and in the US, and they came out with a funny name so that you could search on the web if you're curious. So uh, when it comes to Europe, so the CHMP has recommended approval. So we are quite confident that uh, the drug will be approved uh, later this year. 
And so with that, uh, I'd like to congratulate you, Barbara, for your excellent presentation. And uh, also thank all the audience for watching.